Hi, my name is Jen and I'm with the Volusia County Public Library Hope Place Branch. And today's crafts, we will be making these wine cork picture holders, two different kinds, very easy. Um, let me get together the items to show you how to make them. For our first project, we are going to make the larger cork board. Um, I found it very easy to go to a local dollar store and they sell these cardboard little signs. Um, welcome to our happily ever after. So what I did was I purchased this and then what I did was I set the corks in. This took about, I think it was 81 corks. Um, the size is perfect so I didn't have to cut them in half. So what I was doing is you want to make sure how many corks you're going to need, okay? So we saw that before and how I had it all laid out. So gently I've taken them out. And now all I'm going to do is I'm gonna use tacky glue on this project. Um, it makes it a lot easier than the hot glue because you don't have to move as fast. I like with the little wine side pointed up. So I'm just going to start gluing these down. We can even move a little bit faster. So we started our first row. So I go all the way down with my line of glue. And this is gonna dry clear. So if you can even see to the bottom, you won't be able to once it's done. The one thing I would suggest is the reason why you're really laying out your corks is not only to decide which side you want. See like this one has a pinker hue to it you will see it in a moment um, but you want your corks to all really be about the same size they don't have to be perfect but it will definitely help so we're just gonna keep going forward with this and this one this one I purchased at the dollar store it takes nine on each row so i'm just going to do my next row line of glue back and forth and i like to make sure also that um i mean they're going to get stuck with tax but i like to make sure that the where you put the wine to pull it out on the bottom there And I'm trying to stagger some of the colors too. So it's not all pink in one spot or purple, but it's okay. You can go back over this with um, your favorite paint and kind of do dots all throughout different cork colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish the next, it will be seven more layers because it was nine down, nine across, 81. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll show you the next project. So there you have our first part of our craft. Um, you can put it against the wall. You wanna definitely give it at least 24 hours to dry. Um, you can set down, put it against the wall. You can put a little anchor on the back to hang on the wall. It's whatever you prefer, but it is adorable. I did try to do it on a um, frame, and this is what I came up with. So we did make one that was a lot bigger. Um, this one took the about 85 corks, but it was cut in half. This is a large frame that I've got at a local dollar store. All I did was I cut the corks in half and I adhered them to the backing. I took the glass out. Make sure to take the glass out because you don't want, in case you push too hard, we don't want to break. But I did find myself having to put a little bit of... Um, a little more on the back. I put a piece of cardboard on the back to make sure this was secure. So what I will do is I will mount this on the wall. Okay, so now on to our second part of our craft. 
So this is our second photo holder that we're gonna be making. It's very easy. Only need a couple of items. You'll need about 15 corks. Um, I chose about the same size. You can do whatever you want. The fun thing about cork is it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just for this one I chose, I need a ruler, which I have one ruler, and I'm gonna continue to use tacky glue. So once we place this on, you definitely want, again, leave this for 24 hours to dry. So it's super easy. All we're going to do is flip our ruler over onto this nice side here. Nice flat side. And I'm just gonna run tacky glue all over the back. Just about that point. And this is where I'm gonna to start to place my corks, making sure I'm just in the center. Line my corks up. Place this on the table. Just gonna put a little more glue on to make sure and go a little further. Just make sure that you're pressing them down. And I don't want to move them too much, but they are lined up. Oop, we have a runner, but he's back. It's okay. So let me go ahead and finish this 15. And again, it's always a good idea when you're doing a cork activity like this to place your corks first because some of them might have a little bit of a side. You might need to make sure that the next one so that they line up together and at least are somewhat straight. I'm gonna put a little more glue on this end one. And as of right now, I'm completely covering the ruler. And once this dries, you'll be able to hang it on the wall using the holes that are already in the ruler. Again, I would give it 24 hours, just leave it alone. You can, you're welcome to use hot glue. It's just, I wanted to keep this easy. And I found that actually the tacky glue held better because these are more laminated corks where they're not as porous, so I found that it definitely stuck a lot better with the tacky glue. They're not going anywhere. So now what you can do is mount that on your wall. So I hope you enjoyed our two wine cork picture holder crafts. Um, this one you could make any size really, because um, they sell all different sizes, shapes, um, if you decided to go with this kind of backing, it just seemed very easier. If you wanted to use a frame, just make sure that you get a good frame. Um, if you choose a frame without a wooden back, make sure to reinforce it with cardboard or wood or something of that like, and definitely take out the glass. Uh, and as far as our ruler picture holder, you could even have a yardstick and the picture holder would be even longer. So I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to check us out on Facebook under Volusia Library. Also, you can look at volusialibrary.org or check us out on our YouTube channel where Volusia is getting crafty. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.